All right, guys. So this is going to be my first video. Bear with me. I'm learning about lighting, I'm learning about my camera on my phone. But I recently bought a knife, the Blue Water Knife from Tops Knives. They are uh, they support tactical operational products, as you can see here. That uh, all of their knives are hand finished. These guys uh, advocate, if I can get it to focus, uh, tools for professional military, law enforcement, and survival experts. Well, I'm currently in the United States Army, and I am hoping to wear this to me, with me, as my daily carry. So, if I can open this... We're going to check it out together. Alright, so the thing that fell out was this knife oil. I am uh, pretty new to knives. I've never bought such an expensive knife before. This one retails for about $120. Um, as you can see... Only two things came in the box. That was free floating. Not really a big deal. Knife was supposed to be sturdy. This plastic packaging was going to keep it from getting cut anyways. I've got a hole here it looks like I can open it from. Goes, comes with a certificate of manufacture and authenticity. That is cool. Now I wish I wouldn't have bent it up so much. I'll have to laminate that later. And it, uh, care and feeding of your knife. So even for a newbie like me, they have given me everything that I need to be successful. And, uh, if you can see here, most of their knives are made with the 1095 high carbon alloy steel. Um, when I was reading into them, they it seemed like they were trying to go for good price range, um, high quality steel, and uh, something that will last long, that good lifespan. So here I can't initially pull it out, so. I'm assuming there's a release button on here. I'm sorry, I keep going off camera. Hmm. Well, this is sure is embarrassing now, isn't it? Oh, look. It comes with a rape whistle. Thank you for the rape whistle. Now... I'm going to pause this until I figure out how to get it. Okay, so it seems like it was just caught. It now just comes right out. It it the it held holds it pretty tight. Um it's got this nice clip so I can put it on my belt. It'll uh stick slightly canted like so. But that's what you want. These guys are made in the USA. Look how beautiful that handle is. And it's the only knife I've ever seen an otter on. I really like the blue handle. I really liked how unique the otter was. Um, I'll post an update video on uh, how much I like it. The blade itself feels very, very sharp. I can't really get a good zoom on that though focus maybe I can do it right there it just keeps wanting to focus down here instead well either way Ooh, that is sharp thank you tops knives